um hello my name is murshid um i started uh, murshidabadi project back back in 2014 i travel i collect my songs and use whatever i have learned whatever little i could learn and i use the sufi poetry of several sufi saints uh, of southeast asia and yeah i had no idea about it until i met uh, my friend nizam who is also our manager now so we met him at a baul gathering as you know baul is a sect of mystic um, practices and music and it's it's a whole community that can be found in bangladesh and uh, india so he st- i met him there and he started taking me to dargahs or the sufi shrines where they do qawalis and uh, that's how i got introduced to the literature uh they use very simple uh, symbolisms and simple words to explain something which is about us or about life so that's how you know i've been traveling and meeting people and collecting songs and that's how sufi happened i didn't never really thought about it that was back in 2014 i was living in bombay and then you know i just randomly visited joydev mela about which i heard from my friends and so i wanted to just go there and see how's the scene there and randomly nizam hopped into my life and you know told me that uh, the kind of music that you do you might just want to go to a darga and see the scene there so it happened very casually but then my interest grew and i started reading about it so yeah i think it started into the 2014 yes like i'm just trying to understand what sufi means for you or what is your idea of of i like word. sufism i like sufism because uh, when i went to the darga they didn't ask my name but they offered me a glass of water and some food and there was like amazing music happening so for me sufism is all about acceptance and believing in what you carry within your soul not in your clothes or attire or the name that you carry or the religion that you represent so i think sufism well, i mean i can't explain sufi sufi but you know for me sufism is acceptance and um, knowing about yourself so yeah B- before you were introduced to sufi what kind of music were you were you into were you into music at all you, you were right i was yeah my it was my dad's dream that i become a musician because he couldn't be one so he sent me to my guruji and i was learning indian classical hindustani classical um under pandit gautam bhattacharya and then later on i continued with sir rashid khan sahab and um, then i started traveling and then i also had to live uh, for bombay to do my masters so yeah i was learning for some time and i still am learning but i'm still in the search of a guru now because i don't have any guru anymore but i was learning in classical music for quite some time yes when was this when did you start it was very young was it yeah i was 3 years old and some school teacher some uh, music teacher uh, found out that you know i have a knack so she told my parents so i think it was it started when i was 7 7 6 7 years old but after that that became <laughs> super serious i think even my parents didn't think that i would take it so seriously But yeah it's I started pretty early yes mm-hmm. when i started it was very pretty much strict kind of atmosphere which is about tradition and traditional music so i was not allowed to listen to other kind of music so i was only listening to sad amir khan sahab and faiz uh, khan sahab and abdul karim khan sahab so all the old doyans of indian classical music but then as i started growing up and all sort of music started um, attracting me be it uh, folk music be it jazz country whatever so whatever was coming my way i was accepting it and then when i started learning about sufism i learned that it's all about acceptance so you accept whatever comes your way so 
for me i can tell you that pretty much everything i listen to almost everything be it uh, hindi movie song or um, old bengali classics or african music whatever so it's there is no mane right now i can tell you that i'm pretty much open to all sort of music so so this uh, acceptance this 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 entire journey of accept- acceptance how has it been from the other way as in uh, do you think you 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 felt more accepted as an artist after you entered sufi or or how has it been for sure because uh, uh, when i we were learning in classical music as you know that we don't have notations so it's it's more like oral kind of a teaching but then you realize that in other part of the world they they have their own music and they have their own horizon of notations and uh, semi notes and shrutis and all of that so I think acceptance is the key word here because um, I don't want to be rigid and I don't want to be stuck and feel too comfortable in one space. So I'm constantly challenging myself. For example, I loved your music when I heard your music. Uh, somebody showed. Thank you. <laughs> so somebody uh, randomly showed it to me, and I I really liked how you're trying to bridge between so many worlds. You know, not only about Indian music, but you are getting inspired, and I think. being around with people like you and so many others this acceptance i learned how to accept and i i learned how to be comfortable in in that space where it's not which i've learned but i still find a space in it
we back and uh, we have murshid singing this song uh, called murshid ragune will i just learn this song from golab fakir who is a renowned uh, musician promoting the bangla kawali style and learned it in pathur chapri which is a place in bengal where there is the shrine of dada baba there was a mela happening and he was sitting outside the road and singing it and i loved the song so i learned it bolo ei deho mati te khabe बोलो देहो मटीते खाबे अरे मटी जेम साधुना अरे मटी जेम साधुना मूर सीधेरा गुणे भवे पुरा हो सीधेरा गुणे भवे पुरा हो छाई बोलो देह मटी ते खा बोलो देह मटी ते खा मटी रे मन साध नई मटी रे मन साध नई मूर सीधेरा गुणे भवे पुरा हो छाई मूर सीधेरा गुणे भवे पुरा हो मानुष छाड़ा अन्न जाते मानुष छाड़ा अन्न जाते ठीक थे पीर पुराते मानुष छाड़ा अन्न जाते ठीक थे पीर पुराते एम सृष्टि जगते एम सृष्टि जगते यार तो को भू देखी ना मूर सीधे रागुने पब पुरा हो छाई मूर सीधे रागुने पब पुरा हो छाई बोलो देह मटी ते खा देह मटी ते खबे मटी रेम साध नई मटी रेम साध नई मूर सीधे रागुने अब पुरा हो छाई मूर सीधे रागुने अब पुरा हो कर्म कर पाबी जथा सागारे गा सागारे सानी निशारे निरे निशा कर्म कर पाबी जथा सारे गागारे सानी सारे सानी निधा बदम पदानी कर्म कर पाबी जथा हमार विश्वास है ना तथा तो कर्म कर पाबी जथा हमार विश्वास है ना तथा तो आसान नई क्षमता आसान नई क्षमता इसराइल सर मंजूगा मूर सीधेरा गुणे पब पुरा हो छाई मूर सीधेरा गुणे पब पुरा हो देह मटी ते खा देह मटी ते बाबा देह मटी ते खा मटी रे मन साध नई मटी रे मन साध नई मूर सीधे रागुने पब पुरा हो मूर सीधे रागुने 
भवे पुरा हो Today is Saraswati Puja, and uh, we have Moshid sitting here with a T-shirt that says, uh, "Everything is an illusion." Crazy, but this, I, I really like. It. I really like the idea because I've never done this before. I've done boring Facebook lives and Instagram lives or whatever, but this is something that I really want to learn because it looks quite fascinating for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to learn as well myself. This is my second live. 